Number one, here you're gonna factor out by pulling out the GCF. So let's do the first one together. So let's find the GCF here, GCF. First of all, we write down each term like 6x, then we expand it. 6x can be broken down into two times three times x. Then the second term is three. That can just be broken down into three. What they have in common is the GCF. So the GCF here, is 3. So here we put 3, then parentheses is whatever we have left. We have a 2 and an x, which is left over from the 6x, bring down the plus. What's left over here is not a 0, but it's actually a plus 1. Okay, that's how you pull out that GCF. Next, um, B, let's find the GCF. Here, let's write down each term 14x squared. We can expand it out. That can be 7 times 2 times x times x. Then we have 28x. That can be expanded out to 7 times 4 times x. What they have in common would be the GCF, which is a pair of 7s and a pair of x's. So the GCF here is 7x. We put 7x here. Then we put a parentheses to see what's left. 2 and x is what is left over from the 14x squared. Bring down the plus, what is left from the 28x is just the number 4. The, let's look at um, C. Okay, so here we have the GCF. GCF. Then we have the number negative 2x squared. That could be broken down into, again, negative 1 times 2 times x times x. Negative 20x can be broken down into negative, let's see, two times uh, five times two uh, times x, then the negative 36, or sorry. Let's break down that negative two into a negative one and, a, and also another two, yeah. Negative one times six times six, and then we circled, look, it seems like it has a negative one involved. Negative 1 was the GCF. Let's see what is left over. Here we have 2x squared. Here we have 5 times 2 times 2 times x. So that is a plus uh, 20x. Then here we have a 6 times 6, which is a plus 36. So here the GCF is only negative 1. Then we have D. Let's find the GCF of the number 3x squared. All right, so we have 3 times x times x, which is the GCF, which is the first term expanded. 9x squared can be 3 times 3 times x times x. Oh, I forgot an extra x here, right? Because it's x to the third. Then you have 33x, which is 3 times 11 times x. We circle what they have in common, which is 3 and then an x. So the GCF here is 3x. So let's put a 3x here, parentheses, and let's see what are we left. From the first term, we're left with an x squared. From the second term of 9x squared, we are left with a 3x. And lastly, we are left with an 11. There you go. That is how you factor out the GCF.